Have you ever thought studying chemistry is difficult, is boring, and sometimes frustrating? If your answer is yes, you should focus in this video because in this video, I'm going to give you three golden keys. With these three golden keys, you can improve your chemistry remarkably. Now, when you start your revision, you will open the textbook, but you will stuck there because you don't know where to start. Instead of open the textbook, you should close the textbook and try to say how much you have learned in your own words. Now, this is what we call the Feynman technique. It states if you really understand something, you can describe it in your own words. So any hesitation or any uncertainties means you are not very familiar with that part so that you have to go back to the textbook or you should ask the teacher. Number two, a lot of people say chemistry is abstract. So should I memorize all the explanations on the textbook? Now the answer is yes and no. Of course, we have to memorize uh, something on the textbook, but we can do it in more effective way. So we can make use of the infographics. So what does it mean? In simple words, infographics, it is uh, some simple drawings together with some uh, simple explanation. Now, I will take a graphite as an example. You can draw the three-dimensional structure of a graphite. It is in layers, of course, and then you can mark the delocalized electrons on the layer. And then you can also say, oh, this delocalized electron is responsible for the electrical conductivity. Now, with these infographics, so you can make something abstract into something visible. So you can understand some abstract concept easily. Number three, you have to look at the question carefully. In chemistry, the questions are usually embedded in a context or a scenario. So the first thing you should do is to understand the context. Then you should underline the important words, the keywords, the command words, or the data information so that you will not miss them out. And don't forget, the result in the previous part will be useful or act as an information for the coming parts in the question. So remember, treat the question holistically. They are all embedded under the same context. So if you are interested, okay, so there will be a link here or somewhere here, all right? So you can subscribe to my IG page and then you can have a 24 seven professional consultation. With these three golden keys, I'm sure you can have a great success in chemistry exam. Good luck.